one of the Citizen Echo Drive Skyhawk. So the analog and digital legs all scramble, so I have to reset it or reboot it. So how to do it? So like this. First, this is the crown that you scroll. That all the features in there, the timer set, calendar and stuff. So you scroll all the way to the chronograph. It's called CHR in the short alphabet. So just pull out the stem all the way out. And then you press the A and B button together so it all blank out. Once you let it go for a second or two, and all those numbers comes out. So it's like ready to go not by pushing back in. We hear a little beeping that we just already set it. So pull the way all the way out again. Stem. And then you see the hour here. Then you scroll. See that? So once you scroll the hours. This indicator tells you this is the 24 format. So you scroll until the 24 line up on 12. If you pass by, just pull back in, just forward a little bit or back backwards, line it back on 12 on the arrow. So it's 12. And then you press the one a button so it reviews the minute. So how to ch change the minute, you have to do it again. This is going backwards. So it's like rapidly, you can do that, yeah, like that, rapidly. So it's going back until the UTC panel line up on 24, which is all 12, 12 position. It's like a reset from the zero, zero, zero after 24 hours. This is how you're gonna reset. With the solar power, solar power watch. If you let, if you leave it on, on, kept in the drawer a couple of months or more than that, it will just go to sleep mode and just in a deep coma. So you just bring it back out, shine it back in Florence light, and it just came back to life. Three bars in here, one, two, or three bars, which is full, full charge. So while it's running back until 12, a quick look at this nice piece Echo Drive Citizen Skyhawk E6B, which is discontinued model. It's very light though. Okay, it looks like stop, so I just do a little scroll, rapidly scroll the crown. I can line up on 12. Okay, once it's going to the 12, 24 format. Okay, see, stop, one by one, line back on 12, on the spot. So you can see, it's still one o'clock, so I have one more round to go, and I just missed that, rapidly. A bit itchy on the crown, but you can do one by one. So after that's going to twelve. Eight stop. Okay, and then you scroll it was until it lands on on the arrow between lineup okay one thing to realize that you see the yellow needle second is not on the 12 so how do you make the seconds second hand lines up in 12 you have to press the one o'clock button again so you can see the English second and then you scroll backwards or forward or forward would be okay scroll back forward sc scroll forward to line up in 12 Maybe it's offline, so I just scroll it again. Scroll back, stop. One more tick. So it's not 100% in the lineup, but it's already close enough to 12. So after this position, you press back the one, the A, A button, and you will see go back on the first place position with ours, which we already done. Line up on 12, and then double check on the minutes on 12, and then the seconds on 12, 
back to ours and what's hap what's next then you push back all in the crown in like this see it's, it's now reset so we have to set the right time now say okay so I have to scroll the crown to on the time mode which is telling you the nine o'clock window tells you where do you want to set it so you have to confirm this where do you want to set this city so I choose Hong Kong so we scroll 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 I have a friend his name is Eon he living in Australia in Perth West Australia tell him how to reset so hope you can do that so so HKG Hong Kong time is the same as the West Australia in Perth so it's viewing eight o'clock something like that but which is all round wrong then to reset to put all the all the way out until it flashes this SMT means the summer times do you need daylight saving you need on or off so you see this is a sec a minute so we just double so the time is now in Hong Kong is uh, let me see 11:40. So scroll until the view 40, 11:40. Like that. Then you press the one o'clock button. So it tells, flashes the hour, and then you scroll to the hour, which is 11:40. 41 just just jump press again tells you the 24 format if you want it change to 24 you press the B button if not press back to 12 if you confirm then you press back to 1 again so see summer times do you need it on you press this button if off press that see so it's off Hong Kong no daylight saving once it's confirmed then you push it back all in and see what's going on see that Now the time is set. So the UTC is, is minus eight in Hong Kong time zone. So this is, is correct, is going to the UTC time zone. Once they confirm the minutes, see that? So see, as you see here, this is UTC. So it's Hong Kong. Press two together. Synchronize. See? So this is the Hong Kong time zone now. And this indicator tells you UTC, which is like two and a four between is three forty-two, as we see here on the digital. So I'm gonna double check. You press the bottom B button to find the cities that you want to know where you are, which is Hong Kong 1142, so it's accurate now. And the date, you have to scroll to calendar, which is wrong right now, then pull the stem all the way out again, and then you scroll. See? I think this is the month. 9, 10. Press again. You scroll back, there's 31st, right? So if you scroll forward, there's small numbers to today's what? Six, right? Six. Press again, it tells you the year, you have to correct the year. So it's 2020. Okay, and after that, press again. You do back the day and the date, month and the date and stuff, and everything is okay, and then push it back all in. Voila! Perfecto! Now it's done. If you want to see other cities, you press the A or B. This is like uh, backwards, this is forward. Say I want to see Tokyo. Tokyo is one hour ahead. Scroll back to crown. Tokyo is one hour ahead. Hong Kong, so if you press two together, it will synchronize. So you just left Hong Kong. Hong Kong on the analog will come to digital. So you choose Tokyo and from digital change to analog. Say I'm, I'm leaving 
Tokyo, I'm going back to Hong Kong. So you choose Hong Kong on this nine o'clock position from the A, B button, and then press two together, and it was going back to Hong Kong. Then you see the last page that you just left was Tokyo, and UTC always be there with the 24 format, which is on the daytime. Thanks.